welcome back. I am Lori Cooch, and thanks for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Today we're going to do a fun little card, and I'm actually sending this to my best friend. So, Sharon, if you're watching, sorry. Um, so this card, we're going to use um, one of the new Close to My Heart stamps. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it is called Treats of Friendship, and it's in the new Seasonal Expressions 2 catalog. The things we're going to be using today are this little teacup and the saying that says, you're like a cup of tea, you warm my heart, and then the little steam. We're also going to use some of the Shin Han markers and an embossing folder, and we're going to do some fun techniques with that. So um, the embossing folder we're going to use is close to my heart, and you know, I don't know which one it is, but I can't remember what it's called, but it's kind of got a little honeycomb look to it. So we're going to be using that. So, like always, I use one of the pre-made card bases, and those are, they come at regular size of four and a quarter by five and a half. So then I cut some thistle card stock at four by five and a quarter, so it's just in a little, like an inch all the way around. And then I cut another piece of colonial white card stock at three and three quarters by five, so it's going to fit right on there as well. And then we're going to have um, a spare piece um, about that big that we're going to use. And then a piece of the brand new thistle extra thick twine. And we're going to use that. So to get started, the te technique we're going to use is, is this sort of thing. So if you ink up your embossing folder, on one side, you're going to get a look like this, and I have some mistakes on there, but if you ink up the other side, it looks like this. So what we're going to do is take our embossing folder, and you don't have to worry about ruining it because these are water-based, and you just um, run it under the sink when you're done. So I am going to emboss, or I'm sorry, ink up the side that has the squares raised up. It's also the side that says close to my heart. So you're just going to lay this on your mat. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to take my thistle ink and rub it on here. I don't want it down in the grooves. I only want it on the little squares or the honeycomb looking things. So I'm going to ink that up real good. And then I'm going to take my um, three and a quarter by five piece of cardstock and I'm going to um, just set it on there. And then you're not going to be able to see this. I'm going to just run it through my embossing folder or my embossing machine, which is over here in the corner. My desk isn't very big, so I have to do it this way. So you're going to run it through with the um, closed up end going through first. So I use my A and B plates. I've got my platform because this is on my big shot. And I'm just going to run it through. And it seems like I'm going to get a phone call at the same time. So we're going to let that go to voicemail. And then when I take it out, of my embossing folder. Just slide this back out of the way. <clears throat> it's embossed on this side and when I do this we get that effect. So that's pretty cool. Pretty neat little effect there. I do have a little bit of a blub right there that didn't ink up but that's okay. I'm going to fix it with a sponge. And all fixed. Okay. Let this dry. And so while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and just stick this on here. I'm going to use my Tombow adhesive. Ugh. 
hard to do when I can't see full on what I'm doing. But I'm going to just stick this on here. And I'm going to set this aside for a little bit because I want to make sure that it is completely all the way dried. Now we're going to go to our little extra <clears throat> piece here. And what I'm going to use is our cocoa ink. And I'm going to just stamp the teacup right on there. I'm going to try and center it because I'm going to use that actually on the front of my card. Use this underneath it. Gives you a great um, base for stamping on. So I'm just going to stick that on there. And I did get a little ink up here, but that's okay because I'm going to trim this off. So I'll just trim that piece off. And then this is going to be the steam. And I'm going to just stick it like it's coming out of our cup. And you know what? I don't like that. I think I made kind of a mess with it. So the other side. Other side is your best friend. So we're going to try that again. This time I'm going to wipe all the ink off of my block. <clears throat> before I stamp it. And I'm going to do the same with the steam again. Make sure there's no ink anywhere, which of course there is because we all know I'm a messy stamper. Put that on there. Okay. So let this dry a little bit. Then we're going to take the shin hand markers. Those are also from close to my heart. <clears throat> and the three I'm going to use are P282 Peony Purple, um, BR116 Clay, and RP198198 Tender Pink. And this Peony Purple really looks good with the thistle. So what I'm going to use is the fine tip on this because it has a chisel point or the fine tip. And these are our alcohol blending markers. And I'm just going to color in the cup. So this would be the inside of our cup. So just color in the whole cup with this color. <clears throat> and over in here and you can color right over where you stamped the stamped image is still going to just show through so I'm just trying to go around the edges a little bit because if I'm a messy stamper, I'm probably a messy colorer too. And I'm trying to do this over a camera, so that makes it even a little harder. Okay, so now I'm just going to color this in. And you don't have to worry about having the um, pen marks because they're all going to blend in together. That's what's great about these markers. So you can't really even see where I blended them in. Then I'm going to take the clay color again on the fine tip and I'm going to color in our tea. 
these tips are really fine point. They're awesome. And then just going to use the pink to color in the little heart here. Okay. Perfect. Then I'm going to take my straight trimmer here. I keep it in the camera. I apologize. And just trim off that top edge because I'm not going to need it. And maybe trim off a smidge off the bottom. Okay. So now I'm going to take the piece we embossed. We're just going to add that to the front of our card. should have done first let's take this off this little corner off I should have done this beforehand I'm going to just run this piece of ribbon under there so hopefully it gets stuck in some adhesive and same with this piece So we have that on the front of our card. Now I'm going to tape this back down. There. And I can add a little more over here. <clears throat> there we go. I should have done that before I stuck it down. I got sidetracked. And now I'm going to put this on the front of our card. And there's our card front. Simple, easy, quick. And on the inside, I'm going to use our cocoa ink again. And I'm going to t use the stamp that says, You're like a cup of tea, you warm my heart. And I'm just going to stamp that in the middle here. Now, being brave because I'm not stamping it on something I'm sticking in there. I'm just stamping it right on the card. So hopefully it doesn't, doesn't look bad. Voila, that's it. Can you see that? Such a fun little card, just a thank you card, or I'm thinking of you card, or whatever you really want it to be. It can be all those things. So there you go. I will put all the supplies I used with their item numbers and how to order them in the information um, block under this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great night.